Mega Magic Mike, and thank you for tuning in to this very special hour of our program on the house on the road. We are broadcasting from the Pacific Coast Builders Conference. We're in beautiful downtown San Diego, and our broadcast is presented by our friends at Panasonic Ventilation. We're at the San Diego Convention Center. We're not in downtown San Diego yet, but in a little bit we will be because it is beautiful down here. What a phenomenal exhibit uh, space here at the Pacific Coast Builders Conference, having a look at the latest and greatest in building product for your piece of the great American dream, whether you're building or remodeling, you can find it here at the Pacific Coast Builders Conference. A little smaller, I like to refer to this as a boutique yeah, it building is. show. Yeah, and it's not only boutique, but it's high end. It's And this is where the classy builders come. You won't find the, the builders who build, you know, starter homes here. This is all these are veterans. really, this, this, these are veteran builders. They're upscale builders. The products that are shown here are above the mean. And uh, it's one of the shows that I love the best because that's the kind of remodeling that I like to do. And as opposed to, you know, for example, the International Builder Show, which is now combined with the Kitchen Bath Industry Show that takes up exhibit hall after exhibit hall after exhibit hall, this particular show is in one large exhibit hall, but it's doable for those of us who are in the building business who want to have a look at lots of interesting products and materials. It's a, it's a smaller show, and that's why the time we have is so brief. These shows are usually a lot longer, but uh, I think we can do this one in a day. So the goal for you is for us to bring you cutting-edge information on products and materials that you might want to consider for your building or remodeling project. And let's start things off by welcoming Alan Meeks and Lydia Lair. They are with a company called the Marwin Company. Yeah, not Marvin. Not no. Marvin Windows. Mar this, Win. is, this is a W instead of a V. Yes, indeed. Welcome to the program, folks. Thank you. Thank Appreciate you. It. So for our listeners who may not be familiar with the Marwin Company, why don't you share with them? This, this really is appealing, especially to folks like me who have a traditional pull-down attic ladder that folds into place so Correct. that you can access your attic for storage or something like that. That's but you, there, you have a twist on this. Yeah, sure. we've, we've been around since 1947, the Marwin Company. We're a family-owned company. And you um, don't look at a day over 25. <laughs> it's, uh, it's the way I eat. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> so you've been around since 47. What That's have you correct. been doing all that time? Uh, we started out making in-the-wall ironboard cabinets and attic stairways, a few things like that. And this has grown and grown over the years. Uh, attic stairways is our biggest product line. We sell from Maine to Florida all the way to Texas and hop over here to California. And then uh, we even sell some door products into Hawaii on occasion. So um, so uh, I'm not interested in where you're selling. I'm interested in what you're selling. You're selling right. an electric? That's correct. The, the newest product that we have here at the uh, PCBC show is the one that we have won an award for. Uh, Lydia Lair's husband, uh, Jean-Pierre Lair, invented the stairway for her. Wow. So uh, You must be proud, Lydia. Oh, I'm very proud. That's wonderful. And I love it. It's yeah. so easy but to But now use. you look agile and you look stealth. Why would you need anything electric? when you could probably buzz up a set of stairs in no time. Well, my stairway was too high. My ceiling height was too high. Ah. I had to get on a ladder to start opening it. Then I would jump off the ladder and hope that it wouldn't unfold on me. I'll be darned. Ah. And I had difficulty getting it back in place. So, 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 so hence, and my so hence, so hence the electricity. Right, so my husband's an inventor in aerospace and one day, he came home from traveling, and I had to leave the stairway down till he was able to put it back up. And I said, would you please invent something for me? I want to push a button, just like my garage door. Right. And have access to my attic and push a button and have it close. So you, you simply push the button. Now, is it I a can hard see, wired wait button? Wait a second. Wait a second. <laughs> <laughs> I can see this Chevy Chase movie. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Where... He doesn't know which to push, and he's going back and forth. That's the right. garage door and the stairs are going up and down randomly. <laughs> so 
So this, <laughs> no, this is it, a hardwired system? That's yes, correct. It is. Okay, that's all right. Correct. That's 110 volts. That's correct. And direct wire, or do you plug the you plug it in? in? You it, just plug it in. All the uh, rough openings are standard stairway rough openings. Standard rough openings. In the width. It's and a little bit longer, but in the width is fine. Uh, so if you have an existing, do you need to create a larger opening? Yes, sir. The most, uh, most rough openings are 54 inches long. We need 65. Okay, that's all the right. House, house the motor section. And then, of course, you have to bring electrical to it, which Correct. typically isn't a, tr uh, a problem in the attic. You Most can attics get already up there already. That's What's right. one of these puppies sell for retail? Uh, it depends on uh, how far we have to ship it, but maybe around $4,000, Now, Plus now, the install. It, it says on the paper, custom lengths. That's now, correct. It doesn't it just doesn't it, it doesn't just fit any height? We custom you, make the length for the ceiling height. If somebody so has ten foot, two and three quarter inches, for example, we will make it that exact height. So oh, the wow. so the the angle of the ladder is always precise. That's correct. Okay. It's, it's the same. The, it's the it's, same angle. It's the ANSI required sixty six degree angle. I'll be darn. And the beauty of it is that we build it from eight to fourteen feet. Right. And okay. We're duty rated five hundred pounds. Wow. So we No problem getting either one of us up. Maybe we can get up there together actually. Well, I, carry said, a few things. I said this was an upscale show, didn't I? You certainly and did. I said that the products were high end. I mean, you know, even in construction, a class A ladder is only three hundred and fifty pounds. That's right. So this beats a class A ladder by almost double. They are Lydia Lair and Alan Meeks. The company is the Marwin Company. It's the One Touch Electric Attic Stairway. How may our audience get more information on the product? You can go to the website at uh, www.marwincompany.com. That's M A R W I N, the word company spelled out, dot com. And we also have an 800 number. It's 800 845 6100. Well, thanks for joining us from the PCBC. Appreciate the invitation. And if you are just joining us, we are broadcasting live from the Pacific Coast Builders Conference. It's in San Diego this year. Swaps back and forth between San Diego and San Francisco now for many years exclusively in San Francisco. Our remote broadcast presented by Panasonic Ventilation, improving indoor air quality. We want to invite you to go to our website. It is onthehouse.com where you can have a look at some of the products and people that uh, a recap of our program during the event. What have you seen we're, that is a particular? We're going to go to the uh, ACT Incorporated demand booth. Okay. I understand that Larry, the owner, yes. has... Uh, uh, is starting to get awards for his product. Wow. Uh, due to the fact that I guess he's been in it for so long and, uh, you know, he's just constantly been improving it all these years. And for those don't know, who don't know what the act is. What, what a demand system is, is getting hot water to a fixture in your house when you need it, when you want it. Not a full time hot water recirculating system, but a system that will bring hot water to your fixture, Boy. put the cold water back into the system, not waste a drop, and only operate when you need it, on demand. Boy. Pretty cool idea. That's just some of the many products that you'll learn about here at the Pacific Coast Builders Conference. The Carey Brothers on the house, on the road. Don't you touch that dial. There's more live from PCBC after this. And we are back live from the Pacific Coast Builders Conference, San Diego, California, having a look at the latest and greatest in building products and technology for your piece of the great American dream. Our broadcast is presented by Panasonic Ventilation. Visit their website for terrific information on products that will improve indoor air quality in your home. It's getting easier. What's getting easier? It's getting easier. It's getting easier to warm your floor. Oh. You know that cold tile floor that you walk on when you get up in the morning and you're, oh, oh, you're yeah. all warm. You get I out of bed, problem. you walk into the bathroom and the tile just about freezes the tips of your toes off. Well, perception is reality when it comes to floor warming. That's right. We're getting better at it. We're getting better at it. And here to tell us about it is Susie Chow. Cho. Susie Cho. And she's with New Heat. And Sue's on first. Yeah. <laughs> What's on second? And I don't know who's on third. Welcome to the program, Susie. Thank you. You're with a terrific brand. We've had the opportunity to utilize New it heat. on remodeling projects uh, yes. in, our, in our business. 
uh, and it's made a lot of folks happy. So for folks who may not be uh, familiar with yep. New Heat, explain the, uh, the product. So New Heat is an electric floor heating system, and it is a pre-built system that is installed underneath tile floors or laminate or engineered wood floors. And it's just simply thin-set it down to your subfloor, you roll out the mat, and then you apply the tile over top. Now tell us, Susie, does it all have to be custom made or do you sell uh, strips to length and width or uh, uh, standard? Do you have a standard or does everything have to be done custom? I think you know our product. Yes. Uh, we have over 70 off-the-shelf standard sizes, just squares and rectangles that can fit single or double in a room if that works. If not, we do a fully custom mat that is manufactured in three days. So any wow. angles, any curves, we can make that. So oh, if we're designing cool. a bathroom mm -hmm. and it has tile and the client sees the value associated with having a warm floor, we can send you that plan, you can create the, the product and we can have it within three days, which is probably about three weeks sooner than we need it. But exactly. yeah, great to have the product on hand. You would Susie, just send us a drawing and uh, we'd manufacture the mat. Just I, like that. Just I'm like thinking that. about the wire yes. that comes out of the uh, new heat mat. Yes. Okay. Um, can I use this heating mat mm -hmm. and turn it 180 degrees so that I can locate where the wire is going to be so it's closest to the thermostat? Great question. So any of our standard mats, there's no up or down. Oh, so wow. There's no up or down. Exactly. Oh, we like that. So okay. you'd flip it and find the lead closest to the thermostat. So In a custom mat, however, you would show us on the drawing where, where, you, you, want, where exactly. you want the wire. Correct, because it only can go in one way. Right. Uh, but on this one, that say a, a rectangle, you can have the wire come out any of four locations. Oh, it's Actually, wonderful. Actually, if you turn it yeah. this way, it's any of eight locations. It's up. amazing. So it's a pretty cool deal. And one of the things that I'm always worried about is making sure I have enough wire to get to my thermostat yes. because uh, we want it to operate automatically. And, and that's, that's how it happens, right. getting that wire to the thermostat. So the electric resistance uh, task mm -hmm. heating, which is what this is, is not designed to replace whole house heating. It's to diminish the cost associated. For example, why heat your whole home if you're just going to be in the bathroom in the morning and you want that comfort? People really feel like the home is warmer just from that little bit of heat that comes it's, off it's, the, it's, the tile. Yes? It's subtle. It's not hot. It's subtle. It's, the floor is not cold. It's well, comfortable. Yeah, the mat produces actually 51 BTUs, so it's a great zone heating solution. So in lieu of perhaps a baseboard or you want to get rid of a uh, clunky water radiator, right. you can do that. So it's designed to heat various zones in the home, and the homeowner will feel warmer in that space. In yeah. about the minute we yeah. have left, mm -hmm. two things. You have a wireless thermostat now. We do. We have the industry's first Wi-Fi enabled thermostat, so oh you can boy. control your room and your zones and perhaps your vacation homes, all from an app. Oh, oh we're loving that. That is so cool. And the other question, uh, cost. Yes. What will our audience need to invest for an a average, system? An average bathroom is 50 square feet. It's got a small vanity, a toilet, and a tub. So small space, you're looking between five and six hundred dollars. It's I would like say nothing. Ten to twelve dollars a square foot, wow. depending on the yeah, on the shape. Oh. She is Susie Cho. The company is New Heat. How may our audience get more information on the exciting product? Visit us at www.newheat.com. Thank you, oh, Susie. Susie you're Cho, welcome. you are a doll. Oh, Thank boy. you. You're gonna love what's <laughs> underfoot. Thanks to our friends at New Heat. And now we are joined at our broadcast location by an old friend. He is Mitch Slater with Danver. Mitch, welcome to the program. Hi, Mitch. Hi, how are you guys doing? So Wonderful. We get, we get to see you at a lot of the trade shows, and, and you have exciting product, and you brought something to the broadcast location that you want to share with us. Tell us about it. This is a stainless steel door that can go on our stainless steel cabinets, but it what? Doesn't, doesn't look like stainless steel. No, no, no. That's not stainless. Absolutely is. And, You're uh, kidding. It's a, it's a really, really exciting product. We've been selling it now for a few years. I just brought the technology in-house to be able to be able to do it faster, basically. So Danver manufactures stainless steel cabinetry, which may be used predominantly Outdoors. Correct. A lot of people are building uh, outdoor living rooms now, and they want more of a cabinetry solution in that space than a masonry solution. Why stainless steel? 
Stainless will uh, survive pretty much any environment. We sell all over North America, so it's either hot or cold or both. Uh, it can be snowy or rainy or dry. It can be on the ocean where the salt water can attack things. So the, uh, these finishes that we do, we've been doing colors for years and this wood type of finish uh, more recently, uh, will keep the stainless from being uh, touched by the salt air so you don't have to clean it as much. Wonderful. So now, instead of just having a color, and you have several colors, as I recall. Lots of colors uh, that are standard and, and uh, the ability to, to do some Now, if you want orders. the wood look, in this case, it looks like walnut to me. If teak. You, that's, that's teak. teak. Yeah, oh, yeah, it's just yeah. beautiful. <laughs> so if you want the look of teak, exterior wood with none of the maintenance associated with teak, but the durability of stainless steel, you can now have it. That's exactly right. Very exciting. A lot of interest in that in every area of North America. Now, you'd never, never have to worry about getting a warp door. No warp. You no. don't have to do any maintenance, putting any teak oil on there, any of that kind of stuff. It, it really gives a, a consistent finish uh, without having to do any of the maintenance. And if I want to decorate the doors with some poles, can I do that? Yeah. We actually were asked to do uh, additional poles from beyond just a plain stainless one. Because a lot of people want to buy it where they have options to choose from rather than trying to figure it out themselves. So we've begun to do that. So if we want an outdoor stainless steel kitchen, do we go to a website and design the kitchen? Do, do we get stock sizes? Are we limited to stock sizes? How does that work with you? Well, we have uh, uh, a full line of cabinetry, just like indoor kitchens, because we, we do indoor kitchens. So there are uh, three-inch increments for the cabinetry, but you can put them together in any fashion to get a, basically a custom kitchen for any, any type of space. Additionally, it, it fits any of the manufacturer's uh, grills, refrigerators, bartending centers, any of their appliances. So you have freedom to design it any way you want. And we do custom fillers and things to eat up any space that might be uh, um, needed where the, a cabinet won't fit. I'll be darned. And you do indoor kitchens as well. Is there a demand for stainless steel indoors? Yeah, it's usually something like a butler pantry type thing or uh, you know, a secondary kitchen where people don't want it to finish on there. Most of the time that's plain stainless. Um, but occasionally uh, there's also uh, commercial and hospital applications for those types of things. How about that? Oh, Firehouses. I, I think my butler would be just so excited. Oh, yes, I, mean, yes, they, I every, am. Everybody's butler wants one of those. Yeah. Yeah. You're right. Now, they just don't know it. <laughs> All right. Mitch Slater with Danver. How may our audience get more information on Danver products and this new uh, stainless steel uh, teak door? Well, we, we build them in, uh, in uh, Connecticut, actually. So we're American-made product. Uh, we have dealers all over the country, and you can go to the, uh, the website's the best place to go, www.danver.com. D-A-N-V-E-R. As opposed to D, everyone thinks it's Denver. Denver, yeah, Did Denver. I say, how's Denver? I yeah, say, I right. don't know, I haven't been there You haven't recently. been there in a while. So uh, are there, are there uh, installing dealers? Yes, we have installing dealers. It's, it's not everywhere, so we usually uh, can, can find someone, whether it's a, a local contractor or your local builder. We're, we're in a lot of uh, one builder communities So well. you can be a member of the Danver Mile High Club if you buy a <laughs> set of cabinets from an airplane? Uh, you probably could, and we'd probably get a lot of orders from the airplanes. <laughs> All right. That's Listen. a high-flying group. <laughs> boy, oh boy. I, with that, we're going to take uh, a break. I love it. The, more from the Pacific Coast Builders Conference, San Diego, on the house with you after this. Thank you, Magic Mike, and thank you for tuning in to this half of this hour of On the House with us, the Carey Brothers. I'm Morris, he's James, and we are at the Pacific Coast Builders Conference in San Diego at their convention center, and this is a great show with a lot of wonderful upscale products that we're uh, just having a wonderful time investigating on your behalf. I'm going to get you into hot water now. Uh-oh. An <laughs> I'm always, an you know, you have to understand that I'm always in hot water. Yeah. I never do anything right. It's an endless supply of hot water. We and have, we we are, yeah, we have Brenda Vaccaro's son here, Jim, <laughs> and he's with a company called Renai, and they make what, Jim? Tankless water heaters. Yes, Tankless indeed. water heaters. Now, that means that you have no tank. A, a no tank and that you're only using the unit when you turn the hot water on. That is correct. If I turn the cold water on, the Renai doesn't go on. Correct. Just the hot water. Correct. Why would okay. someone want a tankless unit? First and foremost, they look at it from the energy efficiency standpoint. 
Uh, a lot of the uh, storage tanks uh, have the minimum DOE ratings, so the efficiencies are in the low 60s. Uh, the entry level for tankless is uh, 80%. It's actually 0.82 EF. No standing pilot. No standing pilot. There you go. Uh, you basically, the only time the engine kicks on is when you need it. It's, and this is all controlled by a circuit board that will sense the temperature of the incoming water. Uh, the, BTU, uh, the BTUs that are utilized have everything to do with the water temperature and the demand which triggers the GPM flow. I heard there was a situation where the Renai is absolutely not recommended. A lady has a teenage son who takes <laughs> three and a half hour showers. What's that all about? There's, there's actually, uh, we, we work with a lot of people that uh, deal in, in water, deal in hot water. Yeah. And they talk about uh, behavioral usage. Yes. And it's invariably, did you say a teenage daughter? Son, daughter. Whatever. Son. Well, actually, I think they've done a national survey that daughters take approximately 12% longer showers than teenage really? sons. But wow. Really? Okay, cool. Wow. Really? Cool. But it, it's really, uh, it's endless supply, as you stated. Okay, yeah. so, so uh, tankless water heating is not new. What's new that's uh, noteworthy we were here talking at about We were talking about Renai 10 years ago. Yes. Okay, so what's Good. new? Good. What's new? <laughs> what's new? Uh, we recently introduced uh, what's called the RH-180, which is a hybrid tankless tank tankless. Oh, okay. Uh, and it was actually a product that combines two technologies. So you have a tankless engine driving the system, but then you effectively have a, uh, call it a thermos bottle. It's a 40-gallon tank on the back end of the system. Uh, so you have that storage capability. Uh, you have a first hour rating of 180 gallons per minute, which far exceeds uh, any of the storage type Oh, tanks. interesting. So still no standing pilot. Still no standing and pilot. And no, electri no electricity being used. The only electricity is to start. Just to start. Mm -hmm. and, Wonderful. And, and how many gallons was the backup tank? 40 gallons. It's a 40-gallon tank. But what's happening is you have the first hour rating, which is what storage tanks use to, to, as a measure. Uh, it has 180 gallons first hour rating. So what it's doing is you have that storage capacity on the back end but you have the tankless engine that's driving roughly 3.3 gallons per minute. Well, so it's replenishing. Uh, yeah, and simply you don't have to heat the water, uh, the, the temperature going into the tankless unit right. is warmer than coming in from so the service. Right, so, so you have using the best, less energy. best of both worlds. Um, and it's really strange, when we first introduced this, we were at one of the larger uh, builder shows and it's amazing you have this technology, tankless, that people just didn't understand or just didn't get. And they see this storage tank on the back end of this tankless engine and they magically understand it. It's wonderful. It, it's kind of a psychological, yeah. they understand it, they can embrace it, and some actually did. It was kind of strange. But yeah, the, the, uh, the storage tank is becoming a popular addition to water heating mm -hmm. in, in, many, in the category through many different... Well, I don't, under, I don't understand the storage tank. If the storage tank is bad and um, uh, on-demand is good, then why do we have a tank of hot water dissipating heat all day long? It, it actually isn't. It, it's, as I said, it's a thermos bottle. I mean, it, the insulation is there, uh, but you don't have the constant heating of it um, because it's populating into the, uh, into the thermos bottle midstream. So what you have in a normal storage tank is you're heating from the bottom, so you literally have to heat all of that because the draw is from the top. Mm. Um, the other major benefit of this is it's, uh, I always look at storage tanks as a, a ticking time bomb. So you have that, that constant heating expansion contraction at the worst possible point on the bottom. With this, there's no heating of the thermos, of the, the storage tank on the back end of the system, so there's really no stress at all. So you have this tankless engine, so the tankless technology populating that tank, and it just the benefits overall. The product has been rolled out already? Yes. Okay. And uh, the approximate cost? That's a tough one. <laughs> um, you're talking probably for product itself somewhere in the 1000 to $1,200 range. And it can be another 
two, three thousand dollars to install, depending upon the gas. Uh, no, actually, that's the that's the, one of the beauties of this system is it actually is designed to use all existing um, supplies. So it uses three quarter inch supply, hot and cold. Uh, uses uh, half inch gas. Oh, really? And it can actually That's work right unusual. off the uh, the four inch B vent. So you, its emergency replacement is really so the BTU how it was demand is probably significantly less. Uh, significantly less than a standard overall tankless. Yeah. But still a little bit more. Um, yeah. So you know you know their your BTUs and your venting. So. Right. 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 All right. We're we've got to take a break. Jim Vaccaro with Renai. You can go to r i n n a i dot u s for more information. Thanks for joining Thank us you. from the PCBC. Thank you. Say hi to Brenda Forrest. I will. You? I will do okay. so. Thank you. Mm -hmm. We'll be back with more after this. And we are back live from the Pacific Coast Builders Conference, San Diego convention center having a look at the latest and greatest in building products and technology for your home lots of great information to share want to invite you to go to our website at onthehouse.com check out the show notes section for your opportunity to have a look at some of the stuff that we've seen here in las vegas and while you're at the website enter for your opportunity to walk away a winner in our great bathroom makeover sponsored by highlight windows and mansfield plumbing Oh, my. It's getting exciting. It's, yeah. Yeah, yeah. And also, I'm so excited. You know who my favorite singer is? Uh, Frank he Sinatra. He wears a big <laughs> fat hat. His name is Farrell Williams. Oh, cool. I oh, yeah. He's wonderful. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And are well, you we've related? Been, uh, are you related? Uh, Mr. Gerber, are you related to Farrell Williams? No relation. No relationship whatsoever. Yeah. Farrell Gerber, he is from Tile Ready. Tell us what Tile Ready is, Farrell. Tile Ready, uh, just like it sounds, we uh, manufacture a tileable shower base that you can set and tile in the same day. Our products are 100% leak-proof, and they are mold-free. They're completely integrated shower systems. Uh, They're now, very now, cool. Now, now I, I, I need to understand this clearly. Let's say that I'm putting in a three-foot square shower. Sure. So you have a pan that's three-foot square. I'm assuming you do. Yes. But does not important. And then you provide me with three shower walls in a, uh, in a solid surface material that goes with the pan? No, no. The product's a molded product. It's a injection molded polyurethane shower base that replaces... Only the base. Correct. Okay. So, so what's I nice don't is I don't have to build the curb. Correct. I don't have to create I don't the have to fall. I don't have to create the fall. I don't have, I don't to, have tar. to do the waterproofing. All I do is stick the tile to the shower. The, there's uh, no moving parts. So you have an integrated drain, integrated curb, integrated pitch, integrated splash walls. Oh. It basically gets set into a mud bed for setting and leveling. And then once that cures, you're ready to tile immediately. There's no waterproofing required on the product. Who do you okay, find your so biggest customer? I, what, kind of, what kind of drain do I have so that when my tile is tiled up against the drain, the finished drain, and they're the same level. How do you get that to happen? I don't understand. They're adjustable. The, so on the round is oh, an adjustable oh, oh, oh. drain top. Just unscrew it. To accommodate the height of the tile. And then on our linear drains, which we have a linear drain got system it, got integrated, it. we oh, use spacers wonderful. that brings the height of the grate up and down. Ah. It really, and, and uh, then you use the, your own tile, your own finish, and your own wall finish. Now, when you say round drain, I'm looking here at a square drain. You're also, in, that, that will up uh, screw optional. and, it, right, right, I got it, okay. Well, this is exciting. I've seen you So you can just throw this pan in and start tiling today. That's it. That's it. It's wonderful. Okay, so, but you always do your pan first. So once your pan's done, bam, you do your walls with any substrate you Anything want. Anything you want. The splash walls that are built in the pan are half inch We can thick. use curdy board or we can yes. use mortar board or we could use whatever. Backer board, you name it. Wonderful. I got it. Oh, this is really cool. Feral Gerber Tile Ready Shower Products. How may our audience get more information? TileReady.com. That was tough. No matter how you spell it. T-I-L-E-R-E-D-I dot com. That's correct. With a, with, a tile, with a rented tile saw, I think a consumer could use your product. We, we call it the idiot-proof proof, leak-proof system. Oh, in system. that case, we can use it. Okay. Oh, then we can do it, too. <laughs> right, that's right. right. Oh, that's wonderful. And, Thanks, uh, Farrell. And uh, speaking of idiots, not really. Uh, <laughs> but actually, uh, our, next guest, our next guest has a product that uh, is as interesting to the extent that it is a twist on what could otherwise be quite complicated. 
and it's lovely stone. And here to talk a little bit about it is Ramsey Hoffield with El Dorado Stone. How are you? Welcome to the program. Thank Boy, you very much. what a catalog, so man. So my point is <laughs> making, making the comparison to our previous guest with, with the uh, shower pan is that stone and the installation can be very complex for some people, even for some pros, but you've uh, kind of dumbed it down, if you were, but elevated the beauty with manufactured stone. So That's correct. So talk a little bit about that and where it's used and how it's used. Yeah, so Eldorado Stone focused on bringing up the level of authenticity in the manufactured stone world. So nat natural stone, as you mentioned, can be hard to work with and in different uh, installation procedures on the manufactured side. You're able to, it's a lighter weight product. It's easier to install. We've gone and replicated the natural stones to make them easier to work with the way they piece together in the installation and really stepped up a notch. Years and years and years ago, um, I would say 30 years ago, a friend of, of mine and I decided to put a face on a fireplace with faux stone. Yep. And I can't even remember what it was called at the time, but it was very lightweight. And we stapled or nailed, what we did was we nailed wire. Metal laugh, an, yep. Uh, to a already sheetrocked fireplace face. And then we mortared, we applied mortar into the wire yep. very heavily. And then all we did was just stick the stone on and I mean, it stuck like gruel. It was like it, it was like it had suction cups on it. Yep. That's, and it was so fun. That's the same fun. process you're using today with our product. The difference is that that was the infancy of the industry, and the product looked okay. But no, no, it didn't that, look. It didn't look. It, <laughs> really, it looked how it looked. Yeah. It looked cool, but it really wasn't. Uh, I'm real looking. I'm so the lo way we've taken it to the next level is yeah. that texture and color. Our molding technologies and right. molding that natural stone, picking up all those textures, and then hand painting individual right. stones with 8, 10, 12 layers of colors, hand applied. That's how we've taken it to the next level it of quality. It truly is spectacular. Yeah, it looks real. And uh, we could talk for hours, but we're not going to because a picture is worth a, a gazillion words, yeah. especially as you have a look at their product, which, by the way, may be used indoors and outdoors. And you name the application... You, they've got uh, they've got product that you can use. We've your, got river, to your river rock is amazing. Thank you very much. I, I mean, it's, it's amazing way to make a stone, quick impact on, your, a, on a room. All of your stone products are quite beautiful. So before, Thank you very really much. Yeah. Appreciate it. So before the uh, engineer gives you the hook, yep. where may our audience go to get more information and have a look at the product? Eldoradostone.com. You can check us out on Facebook as well and uh, other social media channels, but you'll find us at Eldoradostone.com, and you can find out where to buy and get to our distributors and see samples. And My thing. favorite John Wayne movie, El Dorado. <laughs> Ramsey Hoffield, thanks for joining us Thank from the Pacific much. Coast Builders Conference. There's more straight ahead on the house after this. And we are back at the Pacific Coast Builders Conference in the San Diego Convention Center. Beautiful show. Are a we lot having of upscale fun yet? Products. I'm having a lot of fun. This is a good show. I always enjoy the show. I like to build quality. I always have. And uh, I said to you, I think, over, well over 35 years ago, if people don't want to have upscale products, they'll let us know and we'll fail in business. That's right. And uh, we persevered. Yeah. I think people want to get their money's worth. They want to get good quality, something that lasts. And it's nice to see a lot of that at this program. That's what, this, that's what the PCBC is all about. It's about quality. By the way, I'd like to uh, extend our appreciation to Panasonic Ventilation for presenting our remote broadcast here at the Pacific Coast Builders Conference and also a presentation we're making to the, the uh, trades on professional remodeling management. Our thanks also to our remote engineer, Joe Sands, Captain Dan Bringer is in the studio and workshop. Carol Remodeling Babe Carey for producing our program. Dave Weingarten with Second Sight Media, uh, Video and Multimedia, who is recording our program on video, which you may access at our website and on YouTube. Rico Figliolini, who is in charge of social media. And last but certainly not least, Kate the Great Wolfson. Yes, and our next guest comes from a company called Parmere Water Systems, and his name is Robert Lamb. Yes, indeed. And you know they made a movie about him, yes. Silence of the Robert. Yes. 
Hey, Bob, welcome to the program. Thank you. So congratulations. Uh, you are apparently are a pop winner. That's Parade of Products here at the PCBC. How did you become a pop winner, and what is it for? Well, it's the best outdoor product, and we have a solid stainless steel product line of outdoor showers and accessories. And uh, it has a 316, which is a medical grade stainless steel. Oh, that will never <coughs> rust. It will never rust. Actually, we've done testing up to 72 hours in salt water, and there was no pitting or any problems with the product. Oh, my. And so this, this is beyond the fact that it's durable. Um, are there other qualities that set it apart from yes. others in the category? It's a single cast product. Just like when you make a ring, you set make a cast. We cast our product line, and it comes out in the rust form, and then we polish it. And it's a solid stainless steel product that uh, was durable and will last for a lifetime. Now, your product line isn't just for showers. It looks like you have lavies and... Uh, oh, we have a complete line of faucets. Uh, kitchens? Kitchen faucets, vanity faucets. Uh, indoor showers, outdoor showers, and accessories. Uh, now, do you, do you offer a touch faucet? Electronic? We do have a touch faucet as well. And how, do, how, does, it, how does yours work? What do you do? Can you just touch it anywhere? No, it's a mechanical. It? it has a drop where the valve is, and you touch the valve, and it goes for five seconds. I'll be darned. Oh, nice. Mm -hmm. Okay. And this truly is where form meets function because I'm looking through your catalog, this beautiful catalog that you've brought. I imagine that m much of this is available for our yes. audience to see electronically. We'll talk about where they can see that. But this is just beautiful product. Especially when people are spending tens of thousands of dollars to remodel their kitchens and baths, they don't mind spending a little extra to have a quality product that will last a lifetime. All of our products are guaranteed for lifetime. Uh, they have guaranteed for life. Guaranteed for a lifetime. Ceramic cartridges. Ceramic cartridges. So, okay, that was my next question. Yeah, so you could, they're interchangeable. You do not have to have our Pacific cartridge. You can basically take it out and go to any local plumbing supply house, and they will be able to exchange your cartridge. Are we talking about for labbies a 90 degree exactly. turn on on uh, on off? We have a 90 degree turns. We on our faucets. It's the uh, the up and down valves. And you have the deck-mounted tub fillers yes, as well, the, which are just beautiful uh, yes. for the free-spanding tubs. Boy, those are gorgeous. Isn't that gorgeous? This, yeah. yeah. You really have, uh, the catalog says it properly, you have a passion for fashion. Exactly. This is jewelry, Robert. It is. But then you knew that, didn't you? And it lasts a lifetime. It lasts a lifetime. It's the stainless steel. It's the, the stainless It's the 360. Well, a lot of our product is 304. 304. The, our, Three, our winner here with the 316. Pop was the 316. This is the medical grade product. Most of our catalog is the 304, which doesn't have the Palomars in the manufacturing process. That The 316 is more resistant to the alkalines and the acids. In fact, a lot of people in the industrial market use our product line because of uh, agriculture market especially. Robert, in the moment we have left, what about efficiency and conservation? Everything we have is, one thing that separates us from everything else is yeah. it's completely recyclable after the fact. So 20 years from now, when you're remodeling your kitchen, you're pulling out the fold faucet, instead of going into the dumpster, it goes into the recycle bin because it's 100% stainless steel. It meets all the California flow, um, low flow uh, qualities. It's 100% lead free, and it's a, it's a green recyclable product. Where is it available at retail? Uh, we, we have retail outlets throughout the country. You can look us up at parmirus.com that's p a r m i r u s.com and it'll have all of our vendors that's terrific he's robert lamb parmir it's where he's got a passion for fashion and you've got to go to his website and have a look at some of this beautiful product you misspelled product. it you misspelled it here p a r m i r no no p r e m e r e M E I R. Oh, Premier. Premier. Okay. <laughs> You're confusing yeah, me. I it's know. easy to do. Thanks for joining <laughs> us from the much. Pacific Coast Builders Conference, and congratulations on your POP Award. Well, we appreciate that. Well, that's a wrap for this hour of the program. A reminder <sighs> to visit our website at onthehouse.com for a look at the folks that we visited with here and other products that we've discovered, and our YouTube channel where you can have a look at our broadcast.